Ladies and gents, here we are at Brownstock 2010 and the VVRP 10s uh, coming up to midnight on Sunday. I'm sitting here with Jim from Brownstock. How you going, mate? Yeah, good, man. Good, very well. Good. Jim, what's your full name? Uh, my name's DJ Lopez, but H Jim Holbert. D Jim Holbert, DJ Lopez. There we go, mate. Now, you've been playing all around the festival, haven't you? Yeah, I've been uh, DJing on the main stage, uh, mostly yesterday and today, filling in between all the, all the acts. So, yeah, I've been three or four tunes, getting everyone going. Pretty cool, lad, just warming up for the bands coming That's up it. next and everything. Basically, I've just been playing all different styles of music, um, indie, going old school, even drum and bass, everything, mate. Wicked, man. And you played the Bar House Tents as well? Yeah, last night it was like, Bar House Tent was absolutely Going off, mate. It was seriously, day. <laughs> it was pretty nuts. We're playing loads of hip hop. We even got got dirty and played back to like '89 style, and like the whole place is just rammed, mate. It's going off. That's Good. That's wicked, man. Last one. So, what's your actual involvement with Brands? Well, um, the promoter Matt um, and one of his friends, and basically I'm a DJ down at Bar House, and uh, basically I've just been filling in and just just DJing all over the over the over the place. So. Cool, nice one. And you've been playing a whole range of stuff because you've been playing on the main stage, filling in for people, sorry, filling in the gaps between the shows and everything. What do you normally play? What's your ideal style of music? Well, my, oh, it's drum and bass, really. Drum yeah. and bass, like um, like LTJ Bookham style, sort of um, the mellow kind of jazzy stuff. But at the end of the day, when it comes to festivals, you've just got to play everything, mate. Just yeah. get everyone going. Yeah, so sure. I've been playing all different styles of music this, this weekend. So Wicked. Nice one. And what's uh, what's been your highlight of the festival for yourself? Oh, the Solent Disco last night was <laughs> awesome, mate. I tell you, oh, it's going off, mate. It was like absolutely packed, packed out. And as soon as you took them headphones off, it was like everyone was just singing out of tune. It was <laughs> mental. It's just wicked. I oh, I'll tell you, there's some bad singers in this place, mate. <laughs> tell me about it, mate. Bad singers. Especially at 4, 5, 6 a.m., man. <laughs> oh, true, man, true. When you got, I was playing... Um, out of Space, Prodigy, and someone was playing Kings of Leon, and the mismatch <laughs> of people singing was just like, oh, I'll tell you what, mate, it was like a horrible sound, but it was so funny to be there, it's mate. It's just hilarious. Hey, my favourite thing about the Silent Disco tent was having the headphones on, switching between the two, and running up to the front and seeing how quick I can find which DJ's playing which song. <laughs> that's it, man, seriously. When I was DJing there, if you, if you lose lose the crowd... That's it. They all flick over to the other yep, tune, yep. yeah. <laughs> so you just got a quick, like, do like tune, 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 tune. Otherwise, yep. they'll go, nah, I'm bored of you, over yep. to the other side. So For sure. that's what I'm saying. Like, there was DJs playing like techno music the whole time, and like no one was listening to them. Like, they were just listening to themselves. Yeah. One person, <laughs> the DJ, listened to themselves going, <laughs> and everyone else was just singing along to me, like the whole crowd. And I was just thinking, come on, man, you got to play some crowd pleasers. For sure. DJ Lopez rocking the silent disco floor. And you're going to be involved next year, I take it? Oh, definitely, mate. It's been one of the best festivals ever. You know what I mean? V was last week, and I'll, I'll save myself for this. So this is the one, mate. This is the one. Wicked. Looking forward to it next year as well. Brian Stark 2011 is going to be awesome. And um, one last question, mate. Uh, you're on Lucky Life TV. What's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, man. Luckiest thing I've ever done. Actually, when I was about seven years old, I found a wallet, and it was full of money, yeah? And because nice. like, my name's James, they called me Jammy Jim. <laughs> and that's what I called, like, my family called me Jammy Jim. <laughs> nice one. 50 quid. 50 quid, and you picked up a nickname. Yeah, I know, I know. Nothing wrong, nice one. Well, guys, that's myself here, Mike Perry on Lucky Love TV, wrapping up at Brownstock 2010 with DJ Lopez. Cheers. Cheers, guys. See you later.